Alrighty, so if you're not familiar with Lockout Bingo, uh, we will have a board of 25 objectives here, and each player's goal is to get 13 of them. Um, the other player cannot get it. And then in addition to that, we've got a bunch of custom uh, progression rule sets that you will see. Exclamation point Lockout for more information. Alrighty, and that looks correct to me. So we will count the players in. So, that custom progression that I mentioned, uh, core is unlocked from the start, but you still need four hearts to get into it. Um, and then each player has one assist skip that they can use wherever. But on top of that, uh, Ridge unlocks both Temple and Farewell, and Temple unlocks both Reflection and Summit. So what this does is it gives the players a lot more choices about which level they play and when they do that. Um, and as we get into the mid-game of the match, it makes it a lot more non-linear. Um, in any case, on this board right away, I see Old Tight Cassette and two Cassettes, which is some pretty early synergy that we may see one of these players go for. Mm -hmm. What else do you see, Akko? Uh, I noticed three blue hearts right away, which doesn't necessarily incentivize anything in particular, but it's possible we see... Um, someone coming back early for 1A heart if they go through 4A, but I haven't really looked at 4A objectives here. Um, there is 4A start berries, and old trail berries, and cliff face berries. Interesting. So, so maybe you play 4A arb here. 4 <laughs> arb is strong for 15 berries in two chapters. Mm -hmm. so Especially with that additional synergy. Possible. And it does look like there's a, a lot of decent berry things here. All collectibles in 1A, 20 berries in 5A. Interesting. There's 1500 meter berries as well, if you're continuing that late. Though there isn't anything overarching, so there's not really anything connecting these objectives to each other. So you can pretty much, aside from 15 berries in 2, of course. So you can pretty much go for like some early berries and, uh, and not worry about it for the rest of the game. What else do you see, Jax? Uh, one thing I notice is that there really isn't much to do in Resort, so we will very likely see both players skip uh, Chapter 3 here. Uh, if there are not many Resort objectives, it is generally the strongest chapter to skip because it's pretty long, and skipping it gives you access to Golden Ridge and Temple earlier, uh, which is really good for mid-game objectives oftentimes. There is Temple Blue Heart and Reflection Blue Heart on the board, which can combine with uh, with three blue hearts, but it's possible that we see faster hearts taken for for that right away. However, 5A uh, progress seems pretty decent because we do have Theo's phone in 5A, 20 berries in 5A, and of course that reflection blue heart that we saw earlier. Um, Grabless Depths is also there. I wonder if so we'll see much seems... progress towards uh, all collectibles in 1A here. It doesn't seem like it. Neither of these players are getting these late crossing berries, so we're, we'd likely see an old site cassette race here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. I think that that looks like it would be the first objective ticked off on this board regardless. Yeah. So one thing about uh, matchups like this is that Crab uh, likely knows that Tio is faster than him. And so with that death especially, he likely will not contest Old Psycho Set. Uh, there is reason to get it though. We see complete five B-sides on the board as the final uh, like tiebreaker objective, as well as complete three A-sides and three B-sides. Mm -hmm. um, and getting the being... set while you're there is only like, uh, what, 10 seconds versus coming back for it being a full minute? It's probably like more like 16 or 17 seconds. Um, so we may see him skip it and elect to get into 4A as early as he can for those berry objectives. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a lot of valuable 4A and early 5A objectives. I think that's the heart of this board. Yeah. So one thing about these ticks... Uh, the board ticks will come a few seconds before you see players collect them if they choose to tick it immediately, just based on how the stream is. Uh, so just just know that the players are ticking it are not ticking it early for them. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, if you're not familiar with bingo, players are allowed to delay when they tick off objectives. So if they um, if they 
believe that they could get some kind of advantage out of villain, such as if they know that the other player is not currently contesting it and they can uh, play the information off of that, uh, it's valuable to do so. And I see some confusion in chat about cutscenes. The only cutscenes that the players cannot skip are in prologue, so that they have some more time to read the board before we get into city. Every other cutscene is, is allowed to be skipped. Theo going for the early two cassettes, it's not that big of an investment, but again, this 4A, 5A looks really good, and I don't know if you can uh, you can afford to spend that much time. That, that being said, said Crab also got, room ahead. Yeah, Crab also got the 2A cassette, so they are even now. Mm -hmm. It's possible you could do some Alan Jacks routing on this board, and... <laughs> Like, you know, if you're in Crab's position, go for the two cassettes and uh, and try and look for all the other objectives on the board. And maybe Tio was actually thinking about that because Tio was in chat as Jax explained what his thought process was during this entire during that entire game, if you were here for it. Crab with a bit of spooky movement in that previous battle line room. And it looks like we're just about even going into uh, the end of intervention here. Yeah, this could be really bad for Crab if he ends up getting locked out of these 4A objectives, assuming they both go there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure where you would go if you don't go there. You having a little fun with Dream Blocks here. What are your options if you get locked out of 4A as either player? I'm not sure. Um, we saw Tio starting to get set up for 7 winged. You can continue to play through 5A. We've got Mirror Temple, Blue Heart, and Crabless Steps. Um, 5B is pretty strong on this board because there's not much reason to finish 5A except for Grabless. Uh, so that Grabless Steps combo is pretty nice. Um... In terms of after 5A, though, I, or 5A or 5B, after that, so you do unlock uh, both Reflection and Summit, if you're not familiar, in Bingo Progression after completing chapter five. Um, and in terms of the objectives that we see in those chapters, Reflection Blue Heart looks like the only fast one that I can see. There's Growlithe Rock Bottom, Four Gems and Summit, uh, 1500 meter berries. And I'm not sure I see anything else. Yeah, stuff like complete when I start without jumping and three blue hearts are things you can go back for, uh, especially with all collectibles 1A on the board. Mm hmm. I don't think I expect either player to complete Chapter 5 initially, to be honest. Unless you're going 5B and looking for 3A sides, 3B sides, or complete 5B sides. Maybe, yeah. So we see Crab skipping these start berries. I think that's a wise choice. Based on his execution, um, he was potentially getting locked out of that if he did go for it. So now we see him ahead in progress uh, by mm -hmm. a pretty substantial margin here as well. And the are, are the old trail berries... Uh, much slower than the start berries? It's pretty similar. Uh, especially with Tio getting ca the cassette here. I think Crab is favored for progress, but he may just be rushing Cliff Face. Without any information from Tio, uh, it's kind of risky to start getting these old trail berries. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, because you haven't seen the, the start berries take off, but that should be coming in in just a moment when Tio collects the last berry. I don't believe Tio has any reason to risk delaying here, especially with no information on the board from Crab, and sure enough we see the tick. Um, that tick is sort of unfortunate timing for Crab because he just skipped one of the slower old trail berries, and so now it's kind of hard for him to uh, finish this objective by restarting the it. checkpoint. Yeah. yeah. Previously he'd only skipped the first two, which he can just come back for when he finishes the checkpoint, but at this point uh, I don't think it makes sense for him to do so. But again, I think that's okay for him. Uh, he can really rush the 5A objectives, and now Cliffface Berries is very safe for him as well. It's kind of interesting because it's almost as if Tio going for the cassette there won him an objective. At the same time, mm -hmm. though, we see Tio skipping these old trail berries uh, and Crab mm -hmm. getting these last two just in case. Yeah, this may end up working uh, out for him. It's likely that Crab uh, skips the first Cliffface nah, Berry. No as I say, he's going for it. He's far enough ahead that it makes sense to just do this now. That's true. With that said, he did go for the last couple of old trail berries, so if Tio had a particularly good old trail, he could be catching up on him. Uh, I don't think so, because Tio just played any percent old trail, and he's still like 20 seconds behind for Cliffface berries. 
True. Um. We'll see what he goes for here. So lacking yeah, information. He was ignoring the first one, sure enough. Uh, Which makes sense. He knows that he's behind, or yeah. presumes that he's behind, I imagine, because he didn't see any berry takeoffs from Crab. Sorry, go ahead, Jax, what were you saying? I was just going to say, lacking information, it's really risky for him to get that first cliff face berry. Alright. Um, looking at what happens when we exit out here, of course, we do have um, the opportunity for Crab to go back in and grab the old trail berries, but I do think that 5A is strong enough that you want to go there first and then come back. Definitely. Yeah, if I'm Crab, I'm looking to get Mirror Temple Blueheart and grab the steps. Uh, he is not far ahead, so Teal could potentially snipe one of those. Uh, we'll see what happens though. And then Teal uh, probably already saw the takeoff, but uh, continued grabbing berries there because he's close to getting 15 in that chapter. It's likely one of the two chapters that he's going to go for the 15 and 2 if he does. Which I can't imagine he wouldn't. Oh, Crab does get Theophone, right. That's very good for him. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, Tio sees this lockout. You can see him about to go for it, and then he sees the lockout and uh, continues forward. Now, about even in progress, Crab playing Grabless, get progress towards Grabless 5A. I think that's good. You don't want to play this checkpoint again if you don't have to. Mm hmm. We do see a Tio pull ahead because of that phone tick off. Curious to see what these players will do in depths. Crab quits out. He goes back to 1A start? Yeah. Interesting. I, I like this. I think the, the other 5A objectives are relatively slow, and you can grab a bunch of miscellaneous, or not a bunch, but a couple miscellaneous objectives while this is happening. Tia will be going for Depth's early key. Does he get it? Ooh. Content. Oh. Easy for Tia. Very nice. Theo, one of the few runners who could pull that off here. And if you want to learn that trick, I guess you can uh, you can look at his input display because he's still got that on stream here. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got uh, one I start without jumping completed by Crab, putting us at three apiece. And we do uh, see Crab not turning on Grabless here. But I think he's not grabbing. Yeah. Oh, he does turn it on. Okay. He, so he, may he have didn't been... grab there, so it's fine. Yeah. He may have been thinking about going for 20 berries in 5A there. Hard to say. 20 berries in 5A into going back to 4A for 15 and 2, maybe? Potentially. We see Tio back getting hearts. This makes sense. Three blue hearts is a really strong objective with 4A and 2A access. Mm -hmm. And with having collected the temple blue heart, it looks like he delayed a little bit. I guess because he saw the when I start without jumping tick off, he figured there's a little bit of time to uh, to conceal that information to ensure that he can win the race to three blue hearts. Uh, unfortunately for him, Crab is not uh, anywhere near a blue heart right now, but it's definitely the uh, it's definitely a good play to make. Again, players can't uh, see each other's screens, so the only information they have on the opponent's position is based on the board takeoffs. And there's the three blue heart takeoff as Tio gets the third in 2A. Looks like we see Crab getting this cassette here, and despite being in Grabless, you can grab out of red bubbles. There are a few states in the game that you can grab uh, with the Grabless variant enabled, and this is one of them. So what I is think Tio Tio's doing? gonna be ahead here. But he might not be trying to finish 5A. He does not have Grabless on, so I assume he's just getting the cassette. Yeah, that's what we end up seeing. But, like, what what do you get out of completing 5B at the moment? Um, you got a B-side, obviously. Other than that, mm -hmm. not a lot. You get access to Summit for 7 Winged and 4 Gems. You get access to and Reflection get access Blue Heart. To... Mm -hmm. 
can grab this rock bottom as well, but that's quite a ways away. Oh yeah, there's frankly not too much in late game here. Yeah, I would rather see an old trail berries play, 15 berries and 2 play, if anything. Maybe old even berries is strong. A, but we may see Crab go play old trail after depths here. Yeah, I would love to see it, but... Okay, Tia going into 5B. I, I don't think I, I agree with this play, unfortunately. Uh, but it does give Crab an opportunity to catch up here if he goes back into 4A after this, which I would like to see. Unfortunately, this key won't stay behind Crab through this cutscene. So, I'm going to be saying goodbye to it. How do, you, how do you end this board, I wonder? I'm not quite sure where you go after... So, Gravelous Depths is going to be off the board soon. And sure enough, there's the takeoff. Um, Crab definitely has a uh, big advantage towards Grabless 5A. I mean, uh, Tio doesn't even have Unraveling unlocked, right? And Crab has two Grabless checkpoints. We do see Ultra Berries from Crab, very nice. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see this. So this gets him close to 15 Berries, but uh, not quite, because right now he has none in Start and only one in Shrine. Uh, so this will get him to 13, I believe, if my math is correct. Um, I think your math is correct. <laughs> Which actually is um, fairly easy to get to 15, because you can just go into Shrine and get the first two there. Right. I'm surprised to see Tio committing to this. Yeah, I'm not sure what the what the read is here from Tio. So as Tio, if you get every... Uh, everything past this point? Everything past this point, there's five objectives. Reflection, Blue Heart, Grabless Rock Bottom, Four Gems and Summit, all berries in 1500 meters. That is actually pretty nice synergy. Uh, you've got two objectives in 1.5k there for you. And then use or seven winged berries. And so Wait, he still needs three more. Oh, God, and grab this rock bottom is very long in conjunction with those other three. Well, he needs three more. Maybe what he's thinking is three A sides, three B sides, complete five B sides, and core blue heart. So but now we in see that time crab could go back for for the core blue heart pretty easily. But I like this quit out to five A. Interesting, yeah. So what we see here is crab going for fifteen and two, and all collectibles one A. And meanwhile, Tio is going for twenty berries in five A and fifteen and two. So. Yeah. I think Crab is ahead in the berry race, but Tio will still be getting an objective out of this, likely. Mm -hmm. And it it reduces some of the value out of Crab's presumably uh, inevitable 5A play. That being said, there are really not any good berries in late 5A. So Crab playing 5A for Crabless 5A uh, doesn't really lose much value there. Right. Crab does not yet have 15 berries in 4A, but he is very close. So I guess he... Well, I, I would hope he quits out after 15 in 1A and goes back to uh, to 4A to finish that out, because I wouldn't want to uh, risk it at all, especially with Tio not having marked off an objective in about 5 minutes. Yeah, this uh, 15 and 2 objective is definitely strong in this board, with incentive to be getting berries in 1A, 4A, 5A, 7A. What do, what do you think we see the runners go for after this? Crab probably continues through 5A or goes into Resort, but there's there's just really not much in Resort. Um, you can get 7 winged without Summit access, so if he snipes that, I think that's pretty significant. Uh, depending upon how this mid-game split goes, 7 winged may be a very, very pivotal objective. Looking at uh, a win condition for Crab, if we ask about that, we have five objectives marked off, 15 and 2 potentially going his way, uh, Grabless 5A, all collectibles 1A, what am I missing? Is that all that we have current progress towards? Crab gets 15 in City and heads out to 4A, very heads up play. Nice routing, he was able to do that right at the start of a checkpoint. Oh. How many does Tio have in uh, 5A at the moment? 11, I believe, if he got the first one. Oh, man. Okay, it should be should be Crab's objective, as long as this goes cleanly. And sure enough, it turns blue. Tio has 28 berries. I'm not sure how many he got in Ridge. 
I don't think it was 15. I think he needed to head back there still. Because I know he got some in 1A. Crab heads into 3A. Oh, true. I, I forgot that he skipped uh, he skipped uh, everything in Old Trail, right? Pretty much, yeah. I This 3A play seems... I'm not sure about it, but I do think that I feel like Tio would want to be in 3A, so it makes sense as Crab to want to be there. I'm so, not sure where else you go on this board at the moment. The big thing that informs, or that uh, Crab is thinking about here is where was Tio after taking off three blue hearts? And with Crab getting grabless depths, he's, he can be pretty confident that Tio didn't play through 5A. Um, and was either in 5B or working on berry stuff and got lucked out. Uh, now with this information, he can tell a little bit better on where Tio's been. Um, but yeah, I think this play is pretty strong. Crab is forfeiting late game access, but he didn't really have much progress towards that anyway. So, Right. Um, I do think maybe there's a, there's a world where you finish out Grabless 5A in order to uh, indicate that you have access to the rest of the board to uh, go Tio into play it. Tio. Yeah. But Tio is here anyway, so I guess it wouldn't have made much of a difference. The thing is, again, looking at win conditions, we have six objectives on the board for each player. Uh, for Crab, we have Grabless 5A looking to be favored. Um, 1A all collectibles also favored. Oh. So, with Crab going into City here, my guess is that he saw that 20 berries in 5A tick off and wants to get more off the board from early game, which I think is strong. He knows Tio probably wasn't playing Resort, so he likely has a lead there, and now he can right. finish off this All Collectibles and 1A objective. And he... Crab got into Huge Mess, right? Yes. So... He has good, good a good progress advantage towards that. I don't know about Tio going into summit right away. I'm not sure if he has a win condition coming up off of this. He definitely but doesn't. Um, I'm not sure. There are three I, objectives here. There are. As either player, I'm not sure what you do here. Tio may be looking to just hunt seven winged. Um, so Crab probably needs to get back to huge mess pretty quick here. He also did not get the winged in depths or 2A. Uh, so, seven winged may end up going to Tio here. I'm not sure what either player's winged very progress is. Crab marking off his, his seventh objective with all collectibles 1A. Ooh, Crab going to depths. This is definitely good for him. Assuming he can win this race. How many, how many do each of them have? I'm not sure. Crab uh, at 5 now, just needing 2A and huge mess. He can't Shouldn't go towels be... first, though. I Tio... think this is Crab's, right? I think Tio doesn't have very many, and he'll probably want to finish 500 meters here. Yeah. This is pretty big for Crab, actually. We'll see once Tio collects this one. If Tio puts out now, I think he might be able to contest it. He does! Uh, wait, He's at but three. That's, that's his third. I think so if Crab get... just beelines for for this uh this wingberry, you're chilling, right? He might but win without even beelining. Can... Tio needs 4A, 2A, uh Chasm, and 3A start. I think Crab yeah, looks... is fine. Yeah, it looks like Crab is just doing the huge mess order. This is going to be close. This oh, is a wow. really important race. With Tio having access to so many late game objectives that Crab doesn't, Crab needs to get this lockout. Well, in saying that, even if Tio wins this, I think Crab is still in a decent position for for most of the rest of the game. Obviously, you're you're worried about the summit objectives, reflection blue heart, core blue heart, grabless rock bottom, right? That's uh, six plus one more, which could come from three A sides, three B sides, or complete five B sides, or five binos in farewell. It turns There's, blue uh, as Tio enters resort here. 
Yeah, uh, that's a good lockout for Crab. Very good, yeah. Tio playing B-sides. I think he's correctly identified now that Crab does not have the progress that he maybe thought he did. Mm -hmm. At this point, Crab probably finishes the huge miss order and then quits out to uh, to look to contest other stuff. I don't believe he needs to commit too hard here. Again, he hasn't seen something in five minutes from Tio, so committing is a risk, though though having signaled the huge mess order it's less risky it's just you know once you've signaled that you don't necessarily have to commit because your opponent is less likely to uh, to go to that area for like for two reasons right you're bringing a synergy off the board so it's less valuable and then even if they do come there there's a there's a chance that you lock them out regardless I think as Crab yeah. here, you want to be finishing 5A for to, to make your options open. 5B works oh, as well. Oh, 5B. Interesting. But uh, he's pretty behind in the B-side synergy here. This may end up proving to be a rough decision. So, 5A starting from Unraveling, how, how long is that compared to 5B? Pretty similar if you know what you're doing. Um, but I don't know what Crab's 5A execution is like. It should be about two and a half minutes for each, though. Okay, it's very possible Crab is just more familiar with 5B, and uh, if it is even, I do think I, I like this 5B play, you, even if it's the same amount of time. Yes, you do get an objective out of playing 5A, um, but, but that's an objective that you're already advantaged towards, and your opponent knows you're advantaged towards it, so if they go for it, you're, you're happy. I believe there may be something for our host to read out. Yeah, there definitely is. I was about to say, uh, Zero Wing seventy three just donated five hundred dollars. Wow! And because of that, uh, the new incentive that we just opened to run Celeste Cat Isle, where Tom will pet all the cats and also collect berries, I suppose, uh, is instantly met. So that's huge, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you so much. Who was it? Zero Wing 73. Thanks so much, Zero Wing 73. Also, one. And also, welcome 314 people from Blue SR's raid. <laughs> yep. And also, I would say this $1 from Owen is interesting because he's going to donate $1 for each objective ticked in both bingo matches. And everyone is encouraged to participate in that. Well, I hope we get two 1311s. Well, why not 13-12? Or 13-12, sorry. I, I think 13-11. You know what it is? I'm thinking of it as like a first to 13, and if there's a um, if there's a win by two condition, you can't get a 13-12. And that's because I've been playing a certain specific game that is uh, first to 13, but don't worry about it. Anyway, let's talk about the game state. <laughs> so we see Crab finishing up his first B-side shortly here. As Teal finishes his Third, I, he's already finished 1A, 2A, and 4A, so he can take this immediately, but he, of course, has the option to delay, which Shout may be strong. Max, Considering what Crab has been ticking, he really doesn't need to tick off this three B-sides yet. Um, looking at late game plays for Tio, he currently has two B-side objectives that are sort of on lock, so to speak. He does tick it off as he goes back into 6A? Okay. I feel like you know that Crab hasn't been doing B, B sides, right? There's no there's no time in Crab's timeline to have done three B sides. So I think it's a good idea to uh, wait a little bit just to deny the information from Crab. But... Ooh. Okay, so Crab going into Summit here will be able to catch up to Tio's progress. Um, this 6A heart takes about a minute and a half. And in that time, Crab can be entering 1,000 meters. We could see a Summit race after this. That actually doesn't seem that unlikely, especially with two objectives in 1500 meters, as we mentioned. Um, and I don't think there's any other fast objectives here for Tio to go for. Um, with Reflection Blue Heart, he's going to be at 8, and he has access to Core Blue Heart, Grabless Rock Bottom, 5 B-sides. 
he can't he can't win without either going into summit or or 3b or 5a or farewell i mean what is this 7 8 9 10 11. So you're really over committing on this reflection play yeah it's it's kind of understandable because because of the the b-side uh objective on the board yeah but Tio, unfortunately, in the position where he knows his opponent is advantaged towards two other objectives other than reflection objectives, he needs either all of the reflection and summit objectives or he needs to get one of the miscellaneous objectives on the board. So so he needs to to split his prioritization and try and like maximize the, the value of his time. Getting that being said, we do see Tio. We do see Tio still ahead in Summit here, if he goes there next. So this may have paid off for him in Spades. Oh wow! Oh, he doesn't have one K unlocked. Never Wait. mind. I I I trusted you, Jax. <laughs> and just like that, Crab has the lead. Um, Tio, uh, I believe you said has a slight execution advantage. So this could be close. That's pretty game defining. Um, I it doesn't matter too much. I think he still would have been behind because obviously he if he unlocks one K earlier, he's getting the six A heart at a later point in time. He's probably right. still a little bit behind, but it would be closer. So now it sort of comes down to if he figures out that Crab is in Summit, Tio can skip the berries and still win four gems. Mm hmm. But we may see Crab skip those berries anyway, because um, he may expect Tio to have 1k unlocked. I mean, either way. Hold on, let me let me think for a second here. <laughs> either way, Crab doesn't need both objectives to win, right? Crab just wants to to make this deal less sweet for Tio, and then just leave, right? Isn't that the play? Crab still has Grabo's 5A waiting for him. If he gets one here in Summit, that's 11. And then reach Library in 3B and then something else. So yeah, really, if he gets one, he's in great shape. If, You're definitely right. If, I, I think maybe reach Library is what he goes for next. I Maybe I'm uh, overheating here. <laughs> but that might be the play. We have a race. Did Tio get the 1,000 meter gem? I didn't see. Um, I'm not sure. I was looking at the board. Someone in chat can let us know. Tio skipped the gem, according to PickPick. Alrighty. Oh man, and Tio is ahead for berries. So it looks like. And he definitely like has the Arbex. Happening. Sorry, yeah. he definitely has the Arb execution advantage. Once, once this uh, berry objective is ticked off. Uh, Crab's just going to beeline for that gem, and uh, and probably get it before Tio can get both, right? Unless Tio delays this by by the perfect amount or goes back somewhere crazy. Yeah, Crab is in the room just before the the gem, so I don't know if it can can happen for Tio. I see no way Crab delays this, right? Surely not. Yeah, there's there's no reason to. At this point, he's just trying to get objectives. Yeah. And signaling blue. this progress is really good for him, if anything. And sure enough, there's the four gems in Summit takeoff. What an and interesting that Summit split. And meter all berries takeoff. Yeah. That was... Uh, that was really, really interesting. Like it looked like a, a race and then both <laughs> objectives got ticked off and and it's like, all right, sounds good. We're both out of oh, here. Oh man. Oh my God. Tio going oh, for, man. wait, are they both going for your DTS? They are. Oh man. Oh, oh what man. if one of them misses it? That would be, that would be tragic here. If Crab misses it, he will just continue. Tio, I'm not sure. Is there? Oh, oh, crab, crab 
goes for his wait is this a, a new setup i don't know anything about the new setups crab, crab makes it crab and makes it. Tio and makes it as well Tio makes it as well oh my god this is this is content all right so five banos in farewell there are two in singular and then there's uh quite a large amount in power source so you just sort of have to get there and break the box and then you've got access to like seven or something um, mm -hmm. So it really is a race to that skip. Oh, Tio is definitely more practiced with ETS farewell. Um, yeah. So I w I'd say this is favored, but we see a very close race at the moment. Okay, thinking about it, where does Crab think Tio is? Because Tio is not in six A right now, not in six A, not in six B, right? Because there's no reason to be. Um. I would not be surprised to see Crab quit out after Singular. I'm not sure. Because at that point, you're in the checkpoint where the five binos are. So, like, quitting out seems kind of silly. I um, think the only place that Tio could be other than here is in 3A, right? Maybe. I'm not sure, though. I feel like this is the most likely place for Tio to be. So, maybe Crab should, be, uh, should quit out after Singular and uh, look to go elsewhere. But then you are losing your DTS. So it might incentivize Crab to stick around. Doesn't matter to too much. Yeah, I mean, as a as a one dash farewell player, I don't think I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> but Crab does continue, and they're they're just about even. I'm not sure what they're, happened on. This on is neck and neck. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Tio looks like he's. A fraction of a second ahead here. Just barely. Oh god. First crab going Crab for getting oh, this oh. first bino. Going the first bino, okay. That I didn't think about a that. a little bit of time. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh my god. I think Tio Crab needs wins one this. more after this. I think Crab wins. Crab's bingo yeah. riding, routing was better, and he wins the Crab objective so because smart. of it. Oh. That was so smart, getting that first Vino there. I didn't even think about it. I, it completely slipped my mind. Oh my god. That was so close. This is extremely Crab favored now. And Tio follows into 3A. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm not sure you can go anywhere else, to be honest. Maybe you go 5A and hope to snipe that while... Well, yeah, crab yeah. does other objectives. Yeah, you just have to make a soul raid as Tio, and it's so hard to do that with Crab having so many options here. Yeah, at the moment, it's kind of a 50-50 between uh, 5A and uh, 3B, and I believe... Well, okay. Actually, I think Tio probably should be in 5A because Crab knows that 3B is more contestable than 5A for, for Tio. Right? It's a, Who knows? It's a shorter shorter objective. I guess maybe you can... Not really. Yeah. It does get progress towards five B-sides, though. I, As Tio, like, even something like Core Blue Heart is something where Crab could be right now, just to get a sort of wild one and see what Tio does. Yeah, honestly, Core Blue Heart is Tio's safest objective, probably. And so he can't go for it. So it would be a safe win condition for Crab, ironically. Well, they both got the hearts, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Crab has enough hearts for it, but I might be lying. He has two blue hearts and 5B, so he could really quickly get 2A or 4A heart. When did he get two blue hearts? Which one's 3A, 3A and 1A. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he did 1A all, all, all collectibles. I forgot about that. Yeah. At this point, Crab really just needs to play it out to get his last two objectives. Um... That farewell lockout is pretty game defining. It's as Tio, it's almost impossible to win this game now. Uh, even if you make the right reads, you just have to make so many of them in a row that it, closing this out is just really, really tough. Um, yeah, wow, what a match! And a reach library gets ticked off, and Tio calls GG. Makes sense. Very well played by Crab. That was quite the mid game. Apparently, Tio saying that he clicked on five binos. Let's see if we can get the players in here for uh, 
an interview. Okay. I will drag them in. <laughs> Go for it. Hello, Crab and Tio. GG's. Yes. GG's. How's I'm it going? So, I'm so mad at the farewell takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> did, sounds you, like did, that you it, did, did you click it and it turned blue? Yes. <laughs> That's un, unlucky. So, we both just kind of ditched like it, didn't we? For a while there, yeah. Tio was actually playing quite a bit of progress uh, early on. He got access to um, the last checkpoint of 5B and then went into Summit pretty early. Uh, but back when you were both doing ARB, that was definitely the strong objectives to be going for. Seven Wing ended up being pretty close. Tio was entering 3A for his seventh when you ticked that off crap. So I think your prioritization to get Seven Winged and then also be able to snipe one of the 1.5k objectives ended up winning you the game. It was a pretty pretty strong mid game route for you. Yeah, I wasn't super sure about it because I saw you know two summit two for or um two reflection objectives. But uh, after losing both of the early cassette objectives, um, I I kind of just wanted to you know win mid game temple and then go back to early game. That makes sense. Tio, I'm curious where you thought uh, crab was in early game. In early game, I wasn't sure honestly if crab if crab either um like like I I thought that crab uh definitely rushed old side cassette as well, or at least I think so, or two cassettes, and then that crab either played two B or is behind me in two A, and after the cliff face tick off, I don't know honestly what you've done, but but seven winged was wait was the seventh wing was. Was one of the winged in 2A or in 7A? 2A. I hadn't yeah, finished Temple at that okay, point. Okay, yeah. So, so yeah, okay. Then what? Well, then that was correct in my assumption that you have not, uh, that you don't have late game progress. Yeah. So I um, kind of had a little bit of a city moment. I died a few times in Chasm, so you were pretty far ahead of me into Old Side Cassette. I ended up getting the Old Side Cassette anyway because B sides, but um, I I just ditched. Uh, for I start berries to try to win uh, Cliff Face, Theophone, and Grappless Depths. I lost the Blue Heart, which, you know, kind of sucked, but it was fine. Uh, which Blue Heart objective? Mirror Temple Blue Heart? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I you got think a lot of value. For that at all, honestly. Yeah, you got a lot of value out of berries and uh, your early game plays. <laughs> well, that was a fun board. <laughs> it was a fun board. Yeah, I definitely really should have. Cool. I definitely should have prioritized berries earlier. But I wasn't I wasn't sure what you do after um I wasn't sure what you do after 5A. So I wanted to get a bit of progress. I think I've I think at least I've read it correctly that I quit out at 5B immediately and go don't do early stuff, but Yeah, you frankly yeah. probably should have done it sooner. But I had yeah, I, I should have done it sooner, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generally it, it just didn't seem like there was anything too valuable after Temple, so so you didn't need to commit there. And yeah, 15 berries in two and all berries in old trail did stay on the board a tiny bit longer than I was expecting. But it was uh, it was still a really close, really good match altogether. Yeah, well played. Uh, I think with that, we will leave a little space for an intermission here and then get set up for our next match.